hello i welcome you to this video in this video i'll be showing you how to create wall roof like this i'll be showing you how to create wall review like this that are sizable that are small like this and are parallel to each other like this and uh, without wasting your time let's get started and what i will do is I'll go to architecture tab and click on this drop down. Then you will see wall review. Select it. You are going to place it. And if I place it, I'm going to click on modify. And you will see that it is too big. It is too big. So if I select that group now, I click edit type. So I will select the group, edit type, and here I can select the profile. But if you share through all the profiles that are here, there are different different profiles here. This one is 50 by 120. And this one is uh, 50 by 120. Um, let me select this and see what it's going to give me. It's still not what I want. So I want something that is around 50 by 25 mm. 50 by 1 inch. That is a 2 inch by 1 inch. So since I cannot see the profile I want, let me create my own profile. So I will go to file, I will go to application menu, click on this button, then click on new, click on family, then you are going to look for profile, profile review, okay, this is it, profile review, select it, and click open. And if you like, you can go to manage so that the project unit should be in millimeter. Take the length to millimeter and click OK. Click OK again. Okay. So this is where we are going to sketch our profile. I am going to click on create. Then I'm going to select line and I can select rectangle and this is showing that this is where our wall is going to be. So I can sketch it on this on this wall because I want it to cut through the wall. Okay, so let me assign a dimension to it. I want the height to be 50 mm so I'll take the height to be 50 mm and the depth should be 25 mm that is 1 inch and 25 mm and if I like I can lock this dimension I can lock them uh, let me save it as let me save it as um, a family and I can I can save it in my folder can save it in my folder let me look for Revit tutorial okay and give it a name as profile or oh, let me say one inch one inch or two two inch wall
preview and on the option I make sure I select one backup and click save okay then I cannot load it into the project let me load it into this project and click OK okay so now I can either go to my 3d okay this is it this is the one we created before so I can select it and edit then in the profile I am going to select that one we just loaded this is it here two inch wall review and click apply and see what is going to happen you can see now that this is better than before let's look at it in 3d yes this is better okay so now if i want it to appear on this side as well it's a question of selecting it and once i select it you see this one will be active add or remove walls so if i select it i can click on this one and if i click on this wall it will add it to that wall i can scroll back oh this wall is not there okay let's say i want to place it on this wall as well I'll okay it's no longer active i'll select it again add to this wall okay that is that so i've completed that one let's say i want to add more more of those same type and i want them to be at a specific distance i want them to be parallel so what i would do is i will go to one of the elevations let's say i go to i look for the elevation that i can see it let me go to left side okay this elevation is very good so what i, I would do now is i am going to draw i am going to create reference plane let me add reference plane plenty of them i'm going to add plenty reference plane that will guide me so that they will be at a specific distance from each other okay now i have all this reference plane now let me drag this one up i can even drag this one to this place okay then let me place my dimension let me place my dimension i'm going to start from here and place my dimension and i can click on equal so that it will be on equal length if i like i can delete it now because it's already they're already equal so now i can decide to move this one to the nearest reference plane which is this okay then i can select this make sure what you have selected is um, the wall review if you cannot select it click on tab until you select wall review okay you click on tab until you are sure it is wall review you have selected they have selected now it is wall review i have selected now then i'm going to click create similar so that i will add it to this wall okay i've added that i will click on modify so that i'll get out of that command then i can also i can select it again make sure you are pressing your tab to make sure it is wall review you have selected make sure it is wall review you have selected 
okay it is what no it is not what if you have selected or let me go to 3d i think 3d will be better you press your tab until you okay it is what if you have selected now i'll create similar and let me drop it here if i like i can drop it on this side as well and let me exit let me select it again and create similar drop it here and drop it here let me click on this okay let me select this one again create similar drop it here and drop it here and let me click on this what is happening to this let me delete that it's not working well Let me click on tab until I make sure it's what review I've selected. No, it's still not yet war review. It's still not. Okay, let me add this one since it's now responding. Okay, I just needed one to complete it. War review. Okay, I've selected that one successfully. Let me create similar. Let me place another one here. Let me place it here. I click on okay now let me go to the elevation and place them properly if i go to the left side elevation i can select them if i select this i can use my arrow key arrow key to drag it down and here we go so if you look at it in 3d now is if you are not comfortable with the distance then you can work on the distance so that it will be closer depends on what you want from here you can create so many things from here you can make it very closer you can reduce the profile so that it will be tinier depends on what you want your taste if you want it to be deeper or shallower depends on what you want so if I want to add to this side, I will simply select this and click on add or remove and click on this wall and make sure when you are doing this, you are doing it on a wall. It cannot work with a um, model in place. It can only work with wall. So this, this uh, groove only work with wall. It doesn't work with sorry i'm supposed to add let me select this add to this wall mm -hmm. then let me exit from that and select this make sure it's wall review we have selected and click add oh yes then remaining this one select it click add all right okay so that is that we have been able to do all this okay so i hope you now know how to create groove on your wall now you can adjust the size to your taste depends on what you want all you need to do is to work on the profile if i want to work on the profile now i go to profile 
and work on the profile. If I want it to be curved, maybe some part of it to be curved, simply curve one of the, the side. If I want it to chamfer, I can chamfer it. If I chamfer the if I chamfer the profile now, let's say I chamfer it, I create line, line, and I decide to chamfer it, for instance, I decide to chamfer it like that. I don't know whether it's, it's fine. I'm only telling you that you have the, the freedom to, to work on it anyhow you want it. No, 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 that's not what I want. Create line. I want to shove it like this. Okay, so I can trim it now. okay now here we go i can load it into the project and select the same project and override existing version and you see it has been updated already on all the review because all those review that are having that profile will be updated automatically let's look at it in 3d yeah that is it that is it okay so that is how you can create review or groove okay i hope you got some value from this video and don't forget to give me a video testimonial Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye.